All right, guys and girls, welcome back to the channel that cleans properly dirty cars. Roll the intro. Let's go on with it. So, guys and girls, here we go. It's another Ford Fiesta. Um, apparently, the nation's favourite car here in the UK. Um, well, that's what Ford tell you anyway. The wheels on it, we'll start with them. They are just filthy, look at them. And somebody has kindly stolen all the centre caps of it, so we'll need to try and replace them. Um, areas like uh, around here, it's sat out in the, the lot at the back of the car dealership place for quite some time before they actually got round to sort of selling off all their unwanted stuff really that's what they do they put all their trade-ins out the back anything that they don't actually want to retail uh, just gets left really until somebody stupid enough like myself decides to buy them in the inside as you can see it's just it's a bit grotty really um, we've got the usual sort of dirt around the seat edges all these areas that they never really get cleaned properly um, we've also got a lot of cigarette ash. I mean, they've not even used the ashtray. That's the cup holder they've been using as the ashtray. Pretty disgusting. Especially when you consider that there's been kids travelling in this car. Um, dust all over the dashboard. Seats are sort of filthy. More dirt down there. Usual, really. The, the sort of sun visors are filthy, um, more of the same in the back really. Let's have a look in the back. We have usual kids leaving the rubbish lying about. Something's been spilt all over the, the seats. I don't know if it's chalk or what, but, and then there's like sweeties and things all spilt down on the carpet. Um, bit of dog here in the back, quite a bit, but nothing to worry about, nothing too challenging really. As we walk around the car, you can see the areas that have been left. I mean, look, we've got all this. This was parked against the hedge this side. So we've got all this sort of build up here. And then we've got more mould in the window rubbers. So the car basically needs quite a bit of TLC just to get it, bring it back again and get it looking good. So let's just crack on with it, shall we? and get it cleaned. Just like, no, 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 don't need no pills to get high There's no doubt in my mind Your love is all that I need Just like, no, 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 don't need no pills to get high There's no doubt in my mind Your love is all that I need Your love is all that I need 
So we've got the seats out and this is sort of what we are left with underneath them. Loads of cigarette ash just everywhere it's fallen down the sides of the seats. We've got some sort of sweets, cigarette ends, usual sort of muck that's been left over and empty bottles and what have you. The biggest surprise actually was underneath the rear seat. That was horrible. Look at this in here. This was underneath. This is all stuff that's been had fallen down between the rear seat back and the seat base. Look at that. Absolutely filthy. And when you look in, I mean just look at that there. That's just absolute filth that is. Disgusting. Anyway. Let's just get it cleaned. Everybody's there in the things All the sea is just a young pretty face But I'm trying to get to know you It's better No matter how much time it will take But there's something you're trying to hide There's something you're keeping inside inside. But I'm trying to get to know you It's better
is about to, but uh, you look so fine, riding shotgun in my car, top down when driving on the highway, the wind in our hair makes us look like movie stars, and you make me sing, yeah, oh, you make me sing, yeah, oh, you make me sing, yeah, Be close to your body, close to your body, close to your body. Oh, I just wanna be close to your body. Give me some sugar, honey. Close to your body. Oh, I just wanna be. Say, wanna stay in a hotel Champagne and room service all night huh, Girl, I know this ain't no plaza But I think we'll be alright Come on! Uh, isn't this really what life is all about? Doing what you can to have a good time But baby, when I'm with you I have the time of my life Don't you blame me Yeah, this feeling I've got's making me crazy 
All right, Matt, what's going on? Huh? Do 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 do. Despacito, this is how we do it, Danny. Right, everybody, I took a little drive down to the vehicle end of life treatment facility this morning. That's uh, the scrappies to you and me. And I wanted some caps, and luckily, the guy had four of them. And even luckier, the wheels that they were on were buckled, so they were scrapped, the wheels. So the centre caps, he done all four of them for £10. So I think I done well there. What a difference, eh? It just tidies it right up, makes it look like a proper car. Well guys and girls, there's another one done, ready for a new home. Uh, we had a wee sort of mission on the inside of it, didn't we? It wasn't too bad, but it wasn't great either, and it's turned out pretty good, I think. The seats have cleaned up really nice, and the carpets, the carpets actually weren't too bad. I think there must have been mats down in the front at some point. It definitely looked like there had been mats on the carpets, so they've cleaned up good, and that's the difference it makes when you've put sort of mats on your carpets, really, the carpets keep nice. Um, all down the sides of the seats is nice and clean, the plastics are looking a much, much better. On the outside, it is your typical sort of £200 car. A bit of wax makes it shine a little bit, but the body works. It's not terrible on it, but it's just, it's not the best. I did give the boot a bit of a spruce up in there, a bit of a vac, so that's cleaned up not too bad. And then we're back round to the other side, where it is just the same as the other side, really. The pedals were cleaned as normal, carpets all done, and some wax on it, and we're all good to go. Those wheel caps actually make the biggest difference, I think, to the car. Right guys and girls, it wouldn't be the end of a video without my little question, would it? Um, I did actually think long and hard this time about a little question. Um, I was sort of swaying towards doing something about food or something like that, but I actually thought it'd be better to ask a more serious question this time, and that's those two words, the things that everybody's hearing about just now, and that is coronavirus. Now, if you've been affected by coronavirus or maybe one of your loved ones have passed away, my heart really does, it goes out to you um, and it, my thoughts are with you. Um, but my actual question is, what is your opinion of it? How, how has, it, has it affected your life somehow yet? Or maybe you think, maybe you think that it's getting blown out of proportion um, or maybe you think that we're not reacting fast enough. And that's the problem. Um, I'm going to say I was on the fence. At first, I thought it was just, it was another one of these scaremongering stories that you see in the, the newspaper and it would end up just blowing over within a few weeks. Um, this doesn't seem to be the case this time and it seems to actually be really quite a dire situation that we're in. The, just today, Ireland have chosen to close all their schools and anybody that, that can has been at advised to work from home. They've cancelled any sporting events as well and big gatherings. Europe 
the mainland is on high alert. America has cancelled flights in and out of mainland Europe. I mean, this is, I have never in my lifetime known anything as serious, such a reaction to this. So maybe it's actually worse than we are getting told. Maybe, you could call it a conspiracy theory if you like. Maybe this has been around longer than the actual, the when we're getting led to know about, and they've known about this a while. And it's, but you, you, do you know what I mean? You don't know what's going on there. Uh, there's loads of different theories. Or maybe it's just came about so fast that we were unprepared totally. I don't know. Um, but I don't think it's just came out of the blue from nowhere. I think this has probably been boiling up and building up. And cases have maybe, maybe undiagnosed cases have been around for a lot longer than we know of. Definitely, I think that. Anyway, let me know your opinion on it. Hope everybody's good and in good health. Catch you next one, guys and girls. Bye.